Anyway, guys, there you go. So, uh, Sledgehammer is legit. It, uh, it, I mean, it barely takes any durability. This thing's gonna last you forever, which is really nice. What's up, my infected friends? This is KG48. Infected friends, that's not how the intro goes. What's up, my immune friends? The infected are not my friends. You guys are my friends. What's up, my immune friends? This is KG48. Welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. And I am still waiting... For the, okay, the animal guts are ridiculous. This needs to be moved up. Now, I'm wondering if when I go somewhere else, this this area of the game gets unloaded and these are not actually drying because the area is not loaded. I really don't know. But this is ridiculous. These freaking guts are only 58% dry. Um, the animal hide's done, which is nice, but... You know, I need this stuff for the bow, and it's taking forever. But anyway, guys, I did do some inventory management here, so I'm just going to quickly show you all of my stuff. If you want, just pause the video to see what's where and how's it going. Uh, I got some stuff in there. I got some stuff in there. I got some stuff in there. Boom. 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 You can see I made a spear. All right. Actually, I made a few spears. I'm going to check out the spears today. Uh, people said that this spear has a lot more range than any other melee weapon so i should be using that to kill the infected so makes sense to me um over here i have a medicine cabinet with a couple of you know things here and there and that is my um, electronics closet i guess anyway guys today we are going to work on getting a pick and getting to the mine i need to do some mining all right i want to get some uh, i want to start getting ammo uh production going i'm gonna need an ammo bench need a lot of stuff um and we're gonna get to the mine today uh now the last video i've recorded like three videos in a row so if you guys gave me any tips on how to get the bandit, get that one bandit base, just know that, you know, I haven't read those comments yet because that video is not up on YouTube. Just keep that in mind. You know, I never ignore my comment, my commentators. You know, I always read what you guys have to say. Um, you know, I might not always act to what you say, but I do read it. So if you, if I'm not doing something, you're wondering why, it's 99% of the time is because, you know, I just, that video probably, you know, hasn't gone up yet. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here and we are going to make a pickaxe. In order to make a pickaxe, we need metal. In order to make metal, we're going to kind of put this stuff in here, split in half. And does that help? Split in half. No, it just makes it take longer. Wait, it makes it take longer if you split them in half? That's interesting. What if you could put two in the same one? Oh, you can. But it still takes 60 minutes. So, this is better because... It's, oh, I know what I want to do. Split in half and then put that over here. Nope, still 30 minutes. Okay, well, there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and melt this stuff down. It's going to take 30 minutes. And then once that's done, we're going to come over here and we are going to... Let's look through some of this stuff. Should we make combat knives? Uh, we can make a machete. Uh, we can make gears, all kinds of stuff. We get the ores from the mines. We can make the metal scraps and the components. Um, we can make axes. We can make the pickaxe, which is what we're going to make. We can make hammers, uh, sledgehammers. And in order to get the sledgehammer, you need regular iron ingots. And that you can only get from the mine, as far as I know. And you can also make a shovel. And we can make ammo casings. I and mean, we have to make an ammo bench as well. Now, what do we need to make the ammo bench? I don't remember. Let's take a look here really quick. Uh, reloading bench. Oh, that's not too bad. A couple copper ingots, a couple iron ingots, four gears. It's kind of expensive, but I think we'll be able to do that, you know, relatively quickly. I had to go back to base for some planks. I cut down some trees thinking I'd be all smart and make planks here, but you need a saw you need a saw to make planks. And I didn't have to saw on me, so I had to go all the way back. So what are you going to do? All right, now we have everything we need for the pick, so let's go ahead and make the pick ourselves. I feel like I should have a survivor by now, by the way. Uh, again, I, even seen, I haven't seen the comments for the last video, guys. So if you guys told me, like, yeah, hey, I, I didn't get a survivor there. Or, yeah, I did get a survivor there. Whatever. Um, I haven't seen those comments yet. So just be aware of that. Uh, I was a little disappointed with that. Not going to lie. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that was a... That was a... Man, <laughs> how the hell am I supposed to get up there? All right, so I was uh, very much uh, chastised for not showing the trip to the mine last time. So I'm going to show the trip to the mine this time. But on the way to the mine, I am also going to want to make a place to cook the ores at the mine. So let's see what we need to make the cookie thingamabob uh, for the mine. Um, the furnace, I think it's called. Uh, yep, the furnace. Okay, so we're going to need two components and 18 stone. So I do have some stone in here. Let me grab the stone and the components, and then I'll take you guys to the mine so you can see where it is, in case you don't know by now. So I'm a little short on the stone, so we're going to get some stone together. And you might be wondering why the ground looks like ass. Um, <laughs> it's because I turn off the foliage uh, so I can spot stone easier. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to grab stone. And I figured I would show you guys that because it's a hell of a... Look at all the stone, see? 
Look at all that stone. If that was grass out there, I would not have seen any, like, barely any of this stone, probably. So, yeah. And then I just turned the grass back on, because the game does look better with the grass on. I do, you know, I do want the grass on, because it makes the game look a lot better. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of, you know, having this be a lot easier... Um, you turn off the grass, and you can see the stone. It's that simple. And that's the last of the stone. I'm also going to grab these sticks. These big sticks, because you can't get them e easily. So, I'm going to grab them when I see them. Alright, so, you guys, I've been showing you exactly where this mine is. You saw me drive over here. I haven't gone anywhere. Oh, also, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and turn the foliage back on. And I'll, tell you, I'll show you how to turn it. You turn it to low, and then when you're done, you, you turn it back to high. Or you can leave it off. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Play the game how you like, but I just... I think the foliage looks really good, so I do not want to, um, you know, I, I just think it looks good and I want to see it. Alright, so you know what, while I'm thinking about it, always save, save often, save all the time. Every time you get into a car, make sure you save, man, because it's a pain in the ass when this thing rolls. It doesn't really roll that much anymore, though. You feel A lot of people were saying they were having trouble with the car in this update. I don't know, the car's been, this is the best this car's ever been, um, for me. So, I don't know if I've just been getting lucky, or he maybe he fixed it. In the time between then and now. So right here, up here, guys, very simple. Here's the mine. Right? So I showed you the entire way now. So I hope you guys are happy about that. I'm going to show you another trick about the mine. Because there's a lot of tricks with the mine. So I'm going to show you another trick. All right. So we're going to come in here. We're going to turn this off. We're going to come down here. We're going to grab our pick. Right there. Now, where do I want to make the furnace? I, 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 I think I know where I want to make the furnace. Um, oh, you know what? Let's go check if he's opened up the mine before we do anything else. This mine is, like, way bigger than you guys are going to see it right now. If you, if you only started playing this game in this update, this mine, like, it's only, like, the first quarter of the mine. Actually, maybe the first eighth. Like, the, the, the part of the mine that is open right now is tiny, tiny, tiny. I don't know why he closed off the rest of the mine, but I think he needs to open it up ASAP. This should not be closed. Um, but yeah, that, that door right there, that opens up to the real part of the mine. So, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? He must have it locked for some reason. Maybe you got to open it up. Maybe you got to do a quest to open it up. Maybe you got to power something or I don't know. Probably got to do something to open it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to make the furnace right here. Okay. And um, why right there? I don't know. Why not? Thank God I don't need a hammer or anything. I, like, I didn't even think about that to, like, bring a hammer. Did I bring food? I didn't bring any food either. Ugh. Not, not prepared today. I am not prepared. I can't believe I didn't bring any food. Well, at least, you know, I'm pretty close to my base, so not really that big of a deal. You guys won't have to sit through it, that's for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and do some mining. Oh, this looks a little faster than it used to be. So that's cool. So you get the mine, you know, you grab all the stuff. You know, you guys know how to mine. Uh, is there any up here? I don't think there's any up here. No, there's not. So let's come on down here. Now, if you have uh, if you have shadows on properly, it's going to be very dark in here. Well, not very dark. Actually, that's not that dark. Actually, That actually looks better. <laughs> you know? Um, there we go. It's weird. I, I was pressing the button. It wasn't doing anything. It's like I was too close to the uh, ores. There we go. And now we got some copper. Now, some might have went... That doesn't seem like a lot of copper. I think some might have went into the, um, you know, into the environment. Sometimes that'll happen. You know, not really much you can do about it. And this looks like either zinc or copper. I can't really tell. That is more copper. Okay, copper is good. All right. This right here... These are two nodes on inside of each other. They spawn inside of each other. That looks like copper. And the other one looks like uh, salt. Salt. Peter, salt, pepper? I forget which one it is. I think it's salt, pepper. Salt, Peter. No, I think it's salt, Peter. I don't know. That right there is sulfur, by the way. Oh, so see, there's a few of these on top of each other. See, there's sulfur. They're all spawning on top of each other, which is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's get this salt, Peter. Yeah, salt, Peter. Okay. There we go. And we're gonna grab more of the sulfur. You need the sulfur and the saltpeter to make the um to make the gunpowder. Uh, see, some of these you're not gonna be able to mine for like no reason. It's just kind of messed up. Also, how much durability is this? Okay, so the pickaxe is is lasting a pretty good amount of time, which is nice. Yeah, the pickaxe has got to be really durable because you don't want to be making another one right away. 
And there is a repair bench, but um, I haven't messed around with the repair bench in this update. But when I when he first put the repair bench in and I used it, the repair bench was a big piece of crap. Um, the, the the resources you needed to repair the items was like pretty much more expensive than to craft a new one. So, you know, that wasn't really uh, worth it. Are those the only ones? Let's just kind of come through here. Nope, there's some more over here. Yeah, let's let's clear this completely out. All right, guys, I went ahead and mined everything in the entire mine, and there wasn't that much there. <laughs> I um, I went ahead and put four pieces of iron ore in here. You need four pieces of iron ore for one piece of iron, and I think I'm going to need, what, ten? Ten for the sledgehammer? I mean, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> also, I didn't get any zinc, and you need, to, you need to do copper and zinc in order to get brass. Although, I do need um, copper ingots first and foremost because I'm gonna need copper ingots for the repair bench yeah I, I'm sorry for the reloading bench so um, yeah and I'm also gonna need a lot of iron ingots for that too so uh, you might be saying well like does the ore respawn what's going on well the ore I think respawns every 12 hours but I've also been told what you can do is save the game leave the mine and come back and then all the ores will be respawned so let's test that theory all right, guys, I left and came back. Um, I did close the game out completely. I don't know if you have to do that, but I left and came back, and the ores are all back. So you know what? The developer closed the mine for a reason. I don't know why, but the fact that he allows us to leave the game and come back and respawn all the ores, I'm fine with. Um, I don't mind taking the time to mine the ores. Like, I'll put in my time to grind. Uh, they just need to be there for me, you know? Um, and they are. Uh, we can get as many ores as we need now, which is great. And um, eventually, he'll probably make it so you can't do that. But by then, he'll open up the mine. My thinking with the developer is that... He had to close the mine for whatever reason. He knew there wouldn't be enough ores. So he said, you know what? Just leave and come back and, you know, you can get all the ores you want. And, uh, you know, and... I guess that'll be like a stopgap solution until he can get um, everything worked out. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Pro tip right there, man. That's one of those key G4A pro, 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 pro tips. Actually, it's the it's um YouTube commentator pro tips because I got it in the YouTube comment section. <laughs> Thank you, guys, man. You guys are freaking fantastic. You guys are fantastic. And I can't wait to read up on the last episode on what went wrong with that bandit camp. Maybe, um, I don't know if I got screwed there or what, but man, that sucked. I, I was hoping to get, I was hoping to get a survivor and a seed so I could start farming and I got neither. Um, so I did get a cool bag upgrade though. So that's, that's pretty nice. All right, guys, I'm going to take some time and farm here. I don't know how, I don't know how long I can handle farming this place though. Uh, this is kind of boring, but you know, I'll farm as much as I can. And you get a sledgehammer today. Maybe, maybe. I mean, that's a lot of iron to farm, dude. I mean, we'll see. I will try. Uh, I also need to make a, um, I need to make a, uh, here, let me show you something. This is important. So with the saltpeter and saltpeter, yep. With the saltpeter and the sulfur, you have to grind them down. But in order to grind them down, you need a, um, you need a, a, a mortar and pestle. So I'm going to have to go back to base anyway because I need a mortar and pestle. Yeah, we, we probably won't get this sledgehammer today. Uh, but I, yeah, because I need to go... What is that ore? That's a strange looking rock. That's... Is that coal? Did he put coal in here? What is that? Oh, gold. All right. It just looks different than it, it did before. Um, gold is completely useless as far as I know. Um, it has no... no, Nothing to it. So, um, But I'll take it anyway because, you know, it's gold. Um, yeah, with, with the whole thing with the mortar and pestle is, uh, you know, you're going to eventually run out of stamina down here. So you, what you do is when you run out of stamina, you go ahead and grind up some of the sulfur and some of the saltpeter. And then that takes time and it gives you your, your stamina back. That way you don't have to like stand around waiting for your stamina to come back. Because who the hell's got time for that, right? In case you were wondering what it takes to make a mortar and pestle, you have to make it at the anvil and it takes eight stone. So there we go. All right, guys. You know, I think there's a chance we're going to get the sledgehammer today. Uh, you know, with leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back, it seems to be pretty cool. And, um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and grind down some sulfur. Uh, 20 minutes is plenty of time. Actually, I think you only need 15 minutes to get your stamina fully back. So 20 minutes will be plenty of time to get my stamina back. So that's great. I think I want to want some, uh... I was thinking about maybe, like, building some storage down here, but honestly, I don't really think I need it. And I'm going to stop picking up gold. Like, if there's... So if Guys, if there's a reason to pick up gold, let me know. But as far as I know, there's no real reason to get gold, like, whatsoever. Um, I also, like... 
I also tried like leaving nodes alone and like only mining iron because anytime I mine something that's not iron, I'm like losing part of my pickaxe. Uh, the thing is though, I can always, I can always use, I forget what it takes um, to actually make the scrap and everything, but I, I can make, I can make low quality iron with the materials I'm getting out of here. Um, let's take a look really quick. We're going to look at uh, tutorials. Here we go. Uh, or type how to get brass. Yeah, it doesn't tell you here. I'd have to like, I'd have to have my, um, my crafting bench with me and I don't have it with me, but yeah, you could like, you could take copper and iron and stuff and like use it to get iron for the pick. But the thing is like anytime I'm mining anything that's not iron, you know, or anything like that and I'm wasting pick, you know, uh, durability, I don't, hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and skip things that aren't iron. The thing is, though, if you skip something that's not iron, like, let's say... Here, let me just mine this really quick, and then we'll... I'll tell you... I'll talk to you about it. Oh, come on. Really? Three? That's all I got from that? Four? I'm supposed to get, like, five or six, man. Come on, now. Come on, now. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, so, like, this right here. Let's say I want to... I don't want to mine that. If I leave it alone and, and, like, reload the game and come back, there should be a, another node that spawns inside of it. But you still gotta mine it anyway to get to the to get to the new node. So it's kind of irrelevant. You might as well just mine everything. It's just it's gonna take a long time to get that sledgehammer. The cool thing about the sledgehammer though, see all the gold. I'm just leaving it here. I don't care. Yeah, you know what I need? I need to get a um a garbage can a container. You can make like a garbage container and and then you can throw that stuff into the garbage. Ooh, the mist. I wonder if the zombies can get in here. They didn't used to be able to, but you know, who knows with this new update? I don't know. If they can get in here, that could cause a problem. But, I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and break this stuff up. Yeah, we're going to make the sledgehammer today. All right, guys. I have saved and quit four times in a row because I have a theory. I have a theory that every time I save and reload, a node is spawning on top of another node. We'll know pretty, pretty quickly right off the bat whether my theory is correct or not. I think it is. Like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up, I'm going to break up my first uh, node and then there's going to be another node inside of it and rinse and repeat. So if this works, man, it's going to be legit. Uh, actually, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm wrong because this was an iron node last time. And usually if it's like, if there's an iron node inside of a sulfur node, then you'll see the iron node. So no, that is not the case. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Then how come they spawn inside of each other sometimes? It's kind of weird. Uh, well, let's check this one. Who knows? Maybe maybe if it goes from, like... Because there's two kinds of nodes in the game, guys. There's, like, metals. And then there's, like, I guess, powders? Or I don't know what you would call the other ones. I don't know what you'd call sulfur and saltpeter. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that did not work. So what you could do is, if you want iron, you could just keep reloading over and over until you get an iron node. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought they were spawning inside of each other. Because, you see, they do spawn inside of each other. Like, I've had nodes spawn inside of each other. I'm not really sure. Maybe... Honestly, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, like, why it does it sometimes and not others. That is interesting. Oh, that's iron. We're going to grab some iron. I really want that sledgehammer today, guys. We're going to get the sledgehammer, or we're going to go bust up some cars like it ain't no thing. You know what I mean? There we go. And that's beautiful. Uh, nothing I care about over there. So let's come on down here and check this out. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed, man. I wasted time reloading the game four times, and I left iron on the table, which was kind of not very good. Now, is that, that's gold, right? Is this always gold here? I don't know. Yeah, that's all gold. Now, I want to destroy that gold. Uh, there's only one way to destroy things. There's a uh, trash can you can make in the game. And I'm, I'm just going to destroy gold unless it's, you know, you guys let me know if it's used for something. I... I kept all the gold last time, uh, last season, and I kept keeping all the gold. I never threw out any gold because I was like, well, he's eventually going to make use of it somehow. Mm, not so much. Not so much. So I'm just going to throw out the gold now. I don't really care. Um, eh, that's a bummer. That is a damn shame. All right, let's see what I got going on over here. So I do... Oh, God, this thing is loaded. I can't even fit anything else in there. So I've got three iron here. Five... Yeah, I'm, I'm two iron away. I am two iron away. All right, well, let me grab, let me get the rest of the iron, guys. Then we're going to make a sledgehammer and go bust up some cars. It's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be like a, I don't know. It's going to be like a, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to get so much stuff from breaking open cars. You know, the mine 
is not as bad as it used to be. I actually do not mine the mine anymore. Um, you know, before this update, like the past updates when he first put in the mine, I was kind of like, eh, you know, not really feeling the mine, you know, it's just blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But if today, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of digging the mine. I actually do not mind the mine. And this is what I'm walking out of here with. Uh, six, six copper ingots, uh, six brass ingots, and 14 iron ingots. Didn't even take that long. I mean, well, it's... All right. Easy there, game developer. Let's not start nerfing stuff. Um, it took a proper amount of time. It's not like I got so much stuff that it didn't take me that long. I think I put in a proper amount of time, proper amount of effort, and I think I got the proper reward. I'm always nervous when I'm like, oh yeah, that didn't even take that long. When I, when I say it didn't take that long, I mean it in a way of like, it didn't take longer than it should have. I don't think it should take any longer though. I'm always nervous with that, man. Like, uh... Yeah, I, I know the developers watch my videos, and it's like, oh, okay. oh, Cage said it didn't take that long, nerf bat. No, no, it's fine. I think it's right where it should be. It was fun, it was brisk, but you gotta put your you gotta put your work in. You go in there, you put your work in, you get your reward, and everyone's ha everyone goes home happy. And that's what I think we I think that's all games need to be. And um, yeah, and that's kind of uh, uh, kind of what happened there. I went in, I put my time. Took a while, you know, it took like a good amount of time i just cut most of it out you guys didn't see it all that's another thing developers like look at my games and they're like oh man cage got all this stuff in like two minutes what's up with that and it's like no dude i just cut it all out you didn't see it <laughs> i think it was fun i i went in the let me put it this way i went in the mine i had fun i got some rewards and i put in some time i think that's what you want you want time investment you want fun <laughs> i mean this is a video game after all and you want reward for the time investment and I think it's all pretty good right now. I think it's pretty balanced with that mine. I mean, yeah, leaving the game and coming back like to get ores to respawn. Yeah, you want to eventually get rid of that. But at the same time, you've got to open up the mine. There's got to be more ores in there. You can't like mine like four ores and then have to wait 12 hours for them to respawn. Um, that's not going to work. So anyway, um, either way, I'm very happy with it. The mine was cool. Let's. Um, why did I come back here? I don't know. Well, I don't know what I need for the sledgehammer. Do I need wood? I know I need some kind of wood for the sledgehammer. So why don't we go ahead and grab some planks? Just assume we're going to need the planks for the sledgehammer. I, I don't know what other kind of wood you would need for it. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm almost 90% sure it's planks. It should be a big stick, shouldn't it? I would think. Uh, well, let's go ahead and make some more planks while we're here. Because why the heck not? There we go. And Because uh, it could take eight planks. So we'll see. And there we go. And uh, oh, while I'm here also, I want to look at what I can make with some of this stuff. We got to make that leather. You know what? Let's make the leather. Why not? How's this stuff doing? Oh, 78%. Yeah, I think what was happening, guys, is this, this this drying rack was out of my loaded area and it wasn't doing anything because it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't loaded because I wasn't in the area. The way video games work is when you're not in an area, it unloads things. So it is easier on your uh, machine. Uh, right. I just want to kind of look through here really quickly. Really quickly. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, there's nothing in there. So I think all of the stuff you want to make with the ingots is probably in the... Or at least most of it is probably in the uh, uh, the anvil. So let's go check it out. I know that's where you got to make the sledgehammer. So There's a lot of uh, crafting benches in this game. And I, I get a little turned around, a little confused on which one crafts what sometimes. So let's come on over here. Let's make the sledgehammer. Let's go beat on some cars. Hells, yeah, we're gonna start clearing out the cars in this world. Okay, uh, I'll turn that off. Get out and see what we got here. Okay, so oh, okay, so you can see right here, you can make metal scraps and components with zinc ingots, iron ingots, and copper ingots. Okay, very good, very good. What else do we need? Okay, so we need the iron for the machete. Don't really care about that. Oh, you actually need low quality ingots for this as well. Well, damn, dude. All right, okay, so here you go. So we need brass and low quality ingots for the shells. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna we're we're in pretty good shape here, man. We're in pretty good shape. Although I am gonna need some other materials. Um, I need some low quality ingots. Damn it, I can't believe I need low quality ingots too. All right, guys, just finished up the sledgehammer. Hells to the freaking yeah! Now we gotta go find some cars to smack. Save the game. And let's go smack some cars, man. I haven't smacked a car in this update yet, huh? So, remember all those cars that I told you about with the 
uh, tinted out windows. Yeah, every single one of those. You want to smack them around with this thing. And honestly, like if you guys are playing this game, a lot of people are saying, ah, just use your axe, you know, just use your axe. Now, I would wait for the sledgehammer, honestly. Um, I, you saw me. I had plenty of materials. By the way, if you hit them in the right spot, you might be able to hit two at once. Maybe. I can't really tell. I don't think I'm hitting both. But there you go. And this will break down into a lot of important materials. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four. Oh. Okay, so those have been nerfed into oblivion. Five. No components? All I got was five scrap from a car? Ooh. How much dur durability do I take from the sledgehammer? Almost nothing. So that's cool, but damn, that's, um, hmm. we used to get four scrap and four components. I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Um, sometimes you can get car parts too, so keep a lookout for that. Nope, that's just four scrap. Actually, I think that fifth scrap up here was already there. I don't, I don't, I think you only get four scrap per car. Wow. Nope, you get five. Now you get five. All right, well, I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, four and four is only eight. It's not like you're missing that much, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a bummer. Can I break this? No. Can I break any of this? Nope. And uh, I can't swing. That's weird. Did you see that? My, um, look, my stamina is white. What's up with that? That's weird. I don't know what's up with that stamina being white. Can I break this? Nope. All right, well, you know, they did nerf it, but it's still pretty cool. Um, but the thing is, can you not get components from cars anymore? Because if you can't get components from cars, components just got way more valuable. I mean, way, way, way more valuable. So that means um, if you're gonna if you're gonna melt any if if guys, are you getting components from cars? If you're not gonna get components from cars anymore, what you need to do is you need to um, make sure when you when you scrap down stuff for. Um, for low quality metal, low quality iron, make sure you uh, make sure you use uh, a scrap metal for it because components are going to be a lot harder to get now. All right, so this right here we can break down as well. So let's go ahead and break this down as well. I know you can break these down, these old trailers. Maybe you get components from these. Nah, I don't know, man. It might just be all scrap metal. That's fine. The the uh, actually now that I don't mind the the now that I don't like oh there we go we got some components. One, two, three, four. So it looks like you get about four or five from each thing you break down, which is definitely a nerf. You used to get eight, no doubt. Um, but that's all right. Like I said, I don't really mind the mines anymore. Like the mine was pretty fun. I'm probably going to go back. Maybe I'll stream it this weekend. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to go back to the mine. Oh, okay. So it's random. One, two, three, four. So you still do get, you still do, do get scrap iron. Have I ever been up here? Mm, I would have left the door open, wouldn't I? No, I've been up here because I think there's um, I think there's a locker in there, and I grabbed it. The door probably got closed when I restarted the game last time. So anyway, guys, there you go. So uh, sledgehammer is legit. It uh, it I mean, it barely takes any durability. This thing's gonna last you forever, which is really nice. And can't break that either. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to break some uh, break some more cars, guys. But the sledgehammer is two thumbs up, and the the mine is like four thumbs up, man. I really, really love the mine. Now, what are we gonna do next episode? You know, I think we might have to make a trip to the city, the big city. We might have to kill a bear too, though, because uh, all my bear meat went bad, so I don't have any more. But I do have some I do have some canned food, so we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, let me come over here really quick break apart some more cars why not is there any more over here there should be uh, any more cars any more cars i'm not seeing any more cars can i break up anything in here oh okay so you can break these up just for some wood not really worth it uh oh I, did i not loot that or was that hold on let's move that and see if it's uh no i never looted it all right i'm not gonna bother bringing that back i, I don't really I don't really need the storage anymore. Um, storage is doing pretty good. Uh, can I break these up? I don't think you can break these up. You never used to be able to. Nope. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I am going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.